August 7th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Glory Story, and our scripture is Matthew 25. But when the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him, then He will sit upon His glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered in His presence, and He will separate the people as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep at His right hand and the goats at His left. Then the King will say to those on His right, Come, you who are blessed by My Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Linda, a childhood friend of mine, lives in Washington State with her golden retriever, Glory. She serves as executive director of Matthew House, a support ministry for the families of those who have been incarcerated. Another friend from years ago used to tell me he only needed a five-minute chat with a man's family to figure out that man's priorities, because what we do leaves a footprint on other people's souls. That chat, I believe, can also be had with a person's pet. Every so often, Linda will tell a glory story. When I first saw a picture of Glory, it was understandable how she got that name. That dog seems to radiate healing and joy. She even rounds up all her stuffed friends to take to bed with her. It's no wonder Glory shines. She's often in the presence of those who minister to those who are in prison. The mission of Matthew House is to assist families of inmates. That ongoing connection facilitates reassembling of families when a sentence has been served. It's a ministry of compassion. The text for today has Jesus saying to those who have ministered love to the least, last, and lost in this world to inherit the kingdom. This will be the most precious reception in eternity when our Lord, smiling, perhaps laughing, and with arms extended wide and welcoming, bellows, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. For you today, how do you minister love to the least, the last, and the lost? You listen with a heart ready to help. It may mean donating money if you have it, time if you dare, prayer always. And when possible, coming alongside as a friend helps another who has stumbled. These days, we're spending more and more time at home, forced to be separated from loved ones and friends and co-workers. It becomes easier to identify with those who have that as their everyday life, the prisoners and their families. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.